Hello and welcome back to Kevin Can't Play Today, the game show where everybody always loses. I'm your host Kevin, and today we have a little bit different game. We're playing American Truck Simulator. Um, I've been kind of wanting to wait until I can stream this, but that still might be a bit. Um, speaking of mechanical issues, I've got my brakes going in to be looked at next week. Uh, the front brakes are pretty trash, so. Uh, that's sucking up a bit of my money, and, uh, kind of taken away from the, uh, new computer builds, uh, which, again, is still just waiting on, uh, hard drives. So, <laughs> yeah, so instead, uh, we'll just do it as a video today. Um, because it seems I can handle it as a video, I hope, and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, uh, yeah, this is the game, American Truck Simulator. It's a, uh... It's one of my favorite games, actually. Uh, I enjoy playing it. Um, that music might be a little loud. Let me try and turn it down. Let's see. Uh, it's already way down. Uh, can't get rid of it. Let's see... Are you going? No, that's not too... Alright, well I guess I'm going to have to talk over it. Um, anyway, it does have a great soundtrack. Um, but yeah, here's the truck I usually run. It's a... Uh, Kentworth. Uh... I can't remember what type, but it is a great truck, and uh, the hell are we? Um, oh, we're in Eugene. Alright, so uh, we're in Eugene, Oregon. Um, and this game does take a little bit to uh, understand. Um, and get used to, but it's not too bad. Okay, so now it's quieter. Um, yeah, that's a better one to talk over. Um, so this game is actually really in-depth. Not only do you drive your truck, but uh, you have the option to uh, buy garages and buy more trucks for NPCs to drive and make you money. Uh, honestly, that's how I make my money. Uh, currently, I'm averaging a weekly profit of a million dollars. Um, which always goes into more trucks and more garages. <laughs> so, take a look at some of that. Um, where, truck manager, there we go. Ah, it's getting loud again. Okay, yeah, here's my trucks. I've got uh, a lot of them. I got 23 out of 25 slots. So we're going to need to be buying a new garage soon. Uh, I've got all, I think, every garage in Oregon um, that we're filling up before we move to another state. But uh, yeah, so you buy new trucks, you you, know, you upgrade them, you hire drivers, and uh, Okay, you go all over the place. Um, let's take a look at the map real quick. Again. So, uh, this game is pretty massive. Uh, you, uh, sir, currently, those are the states available. Uh, Idaho is the new one. Uh, Colorado will be coming uh, very soon. They're working on it. Um... It's next DLC that is scheduled. But yeah, you got... And these are all the towns you can visit that are actually in the game. And you can see all the roads. Some of which I have not traveled. Um, yeah, you got Oregon, Washington, Idaho, California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico so far. And uh, if you do want to get the game, I highly recommend buying those the extra DLCs. Otherwise, you start with um, California and Nevada, I think. Um, but the DLCs are pretty cheap, pretty reasonable. 
Um, some of the uh, there's some upgrades, other upgrades you can buy for customization of your rigs. Um, but the maps are the ones that you really need to get the full experience. But uh, yeah, let's get away from the music. Oh, one other quick thing. Uh, radio. Uh, you can actually get streaming radio in your truck through the game, which I found to be a great addition. Uh, KNAC Pure Rock, my absolute favorite. Got a great mix of music. In fact, because of this game, I listen to KNAC on TuneIn on an app on my phone because I enjoy their uh, station so much. So let's uh, let's grab a job real quick. So here's one of the places you go to get jobs. Again, it takes a minute to uh, figure out. Let's try and find a short one. But these show you all the jobs available. All right, Ben, that's not too far. That won't be too bad of a. It actually does show the route. Uh, so if you're trying to find a specific route, you can do that. See if there's one to Portland. Portland's a good drive. Or Newport. Newport would be fun. Eh, maybe we go with that Ben job. Yeah. I think we'll go with the Ben job. Alright. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And the music should go away as soon as we get into the truck. <laughs> Takes a second to load. There goes the music. Alright, cool. Now I can talk more normally. Um, so yeah, here's our truck. Uh, inter you know, interior I find to be the best way to drive. Uh, yeah, that's an optional DLC steering wheel there. And we can see all the way into the back of our sleeper. What time is it? It's 8.21 in the morning. Um, trying to remember how to... There we go. Yeah, here's our uh, garage in Eugene. That's uh, a nice day. Um, yeah, you can zoom here and there with your uh, external camera too. This is great for when you're. Uh, I like the external for when I'm maneuvering. But other than you know, like try to park or pick up a rig, you'll see later. But other than that, I prefer to just kind of be in the be in here. The game is rather realistic, I must say. All right. Uh, oh, that's brake on. Turn the brake off. Oh, might want to shift into a gear. All right. There we go. Now I'm kind of a wuss and I do it in uh, automatic but you can do it fully manual if you like now what's nice is this is one of my fully upgraded shops uh, fully upgraded garages I think actually all my garages at the moment are fully upgraded. But the nice thing about those is we have our own gas station. 
So we're going to fill up real quick. So yeah, only 156 bucks for gas, only. <laughs> and it's nice because uh, here in Eugene we have our Volvo dealership right across the street. So my first truck was a Volvo. It wasn't until I found out that this truck had this particular skin that I bought this one. So one of the other things about the game, uh, when you're when you're talking about your NPC drivers, is uh, they don't have you really don't have to control them at all once you uh, get them assigned to a truck and a and a garage. They pick their own jobs and do their own thing. So you don't you don't have to micromanage at all, which is kind of nice. And right now we're just gonna go pick up our trailer. And there's a lot of different, there's uh, several different trucks, um, I think six or seven. I think seven with the new truck that they just released. Um, I think all the trucks are free DLC. I don't, I don't think they charge for any of them. Um, you know, it's, it's nice because you can actually uh, set your cruise control, you got lights, you got wipers, uh, you got turn signals. Speaking of lights, we're going to run that one a little bit. <laughs> oh, my differential. That's what that light was, my differential. See, turn signals. Gonna set my cruise control. I like uh, I like the cruise control because you actually go up and down in increments of five when you just tap the button, so you don't have to constantly be setting and unsetting it. See right down here, down there in my uh, navigator, it's, it says when your drivers complete a mission how much money you made off of it, or if they couldn't find a job and they're heading back dry. Which I always hate to see. Yeah, my truck's hating this 35 mile an hour. It wants to shift, but right on the shift point. Alright, we're coming up on where we're going to pick up our trailer. Uh, it was a little further than I anticipated. So, you know, the cities aren't a hundred percent accurate there uh, they did a the road layouts pretty good but of course they condensed it to for gameplay um, so they're not a hundred percent but they're uh, they're pretty close and uh, most cities do have actual recognizable parts of them that you will recognize if you uh, live there or have been through there you know, the landmarks are, are definitely there. Like, actually, we're kind of driving through my neighborhood now. Where I actually live. Um, Alright, where is my load at? Probably up front here. And again, this is where the external view is actually useful. Yeah, alright, we did come in the right direction. Alright. And as you can see, the mirrors are pretty good. Oh, 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 man, we almost hit that. All right, glad we didn't. All right, shift it into reverse. Get this beautiful beast back there. I mean, I'm a big fan of the Volvo trucks, but when I saw this skin, I just couldn't resist. Painted up to look like a old World War II bomber. Even has extra windows painted on. And that beautiful B-17 mural on the back. If you've been watching my USAAF uh, bomber crew videos, you'll you'll know I love that plane. I think it's really pretty. So I had to paint up my truck to uh, 
match. But yeah, there's a lot of customization for the trucks. Um, from the wheels, if you got the wheel DLC, to uh, all sorts of stuff. Alright, we're loaded up. Let's uh, get her on out of here. Slow and steady wins that race. So yeah, this game is uh, one of those that's great if, you, if you're a trucker and just love doing it. You can't get enough. It's a good approximation from what I've heard from other players that are truckers. You know, they really enjoy it and its accuracy. Um, or if you just want to, you know, see how it feels to be behind the wheel of a big rig, this game will give you a good opportunity to do so. You'll learn a lot about about driving truck. And, uh, yeah, if you ask yourself why truckers do certain things, uh, this will show you why. And you'll see what pisses off truckers. Because <laughs> it'll piss you off when people do it. Like, people cutting you off and stuff. Not giving you enough room to, uh, make a turn. So, yeah, it's a good game for that. Again, I've got the settings down fairly low because I'm on this laptop. But uh, seen some play where it's the high graphics and it's just beautiful. I'm approaching Beltline, and this is fully accurate from here on out. This is this is exactly how Coburg Road and Beltline Interchange looks. And anywhere you can't go will be marked off by those X's. So, uh, you'll kind of know where the game road stops. But the view distance is actually really good, so it'll, you know, you'll actually still be able to see you clear on down the road, and as you can see, uh, NPC traffic still, still uses it. So I don't know how, how the developers did that so that it extend how far it extends. Uh, what the, uh distances where stuff spawns in and spawns out. I mean, you can see those trucks are going clear on down the road. So, there, I think... Nope, he's still there. Okay, now he just disappeared. We have traffic signals and roads are still pretty, are all pretty damn good. Um, the routes in between towns are kind of truncated. Um, again, for time and distance, you know, for gameplay. Um, so it doesn't take me, it's not going to take me an actual three or so hours to get to Bend. It's only going to take us uh, not that long. I don't know why it's telling me to go Albany over. I think we're going to override that. Ah, hell, let's go. Oh, nope, we still need that one. <laughs> I even live here and I keep forgetting the new, this new interchange. This is rather odd. I hate this cloverleaf. Ugh, we should have taken the southern route anyway, just because I hate this cloverleaf. I hate it in my personal car, let alone a semi-truck. Alright, check for traffic. And now we are on I-5. Get up to speed. 
I've got my uh, the nice thing about having your uh, cruise control set at five uh, mile an hour increments is you can uh, quickly um, tap it a few times and know exactly what your speeds going to be so I've got it set at 55 right now and now bring it up to 60 because that's the new speed limit but yeah a lot of these stretches of I-5 especially since I've driven it a, a, a countless times um, you recognize exactly where you are yeah you definitely know it all right, we should have an exit coming up here soon. We do. Yeah, not you know that's usually about an hour drive or uh, forty-five minute drive. Yeah, we just did in a few minutes because they you know just kind of shorten shorten things a little bit. And, you know, there's gas stations, repair shops all around, rest stops. Um, you can get tickets, so good driving is uh, definitely rewarded and not paying huge fines. <laughs> uh, there's maintenance. You got to take your truck in regularly to get serviced. Otherwise, you'll just randomly break down on the side of the freeway. And that's never fun. So I usually, uh... We'll get my rig fixed every... Take a rig into a shop every, uh... Every couple trips. Especially on the long hauls. Maybe, uh, go take it in even right after the haul. And the less you, uh, crash your truck, the cheaper your repairs and stuff get. But it's definitely a driving simulator. That is for sure. Oh, one of our drivers just completed a job and leveled up. And they get certain benefits like better gas mileage, longer distance driving, uh, hazmat certifications, uh, you know, basically bonuses on different jobs they take and stuff. So the more they're leveled up, the more money they make you, which is pretty nice we could probably speed up to 55 now too busy jaw jacking forgot to speed up oh we got construction yeah, you gotta kind of watch out for stuff like this because it can sneak up on you I mean, it's just like real driving every once in a while there's some uh, stuff that you gotta you know deal with quickly, like turn to sh uh, uh, curve that's sharper than you expected or something. Um, the only difference is now you're running a many ton rig. I can't remember what our weight is, but we're, we're probably 80,000? 75, 80,000 pounds? Right now? So that's a, that's a lot of weight. So uh, your braking distance is a lot longer. Uh, it takes a lot longer to get up to speed at full load. So, uh, yeah. yeah it's, just, it's stuff you got to take into account. You're a lot longer, so you got to take into account uh, wider turns. <laughs> Way wider turns. But you get used to it. But yeah, you can get speeding tickets and stuff, so you know, it's often a good idea just to set your um, cruise control anyway, just to avoid tickets. Because if you've got it set right at the uh, speed limit, you're only going to roll a couple mile an hour over. Uh, if you're going downhill, most of the time. <laughs> 
So if you got set there, uh, they're, they're not gonna bug you. But if you're just, you know, screaming on through, they'll, they'll, they'll nail you. Especially in California. Ah, uh, Cal driving California is the worst. The speed limit's 55 for trucks, the, the, even on the freeway. So it's definitely not truck friendly. Meanwhile, everybody else is streaming by you at 65, 70 mile an hour. I believe that place is Saratoga. Old, uh... Wild West Town. Recreation. I'm not sure, though. I haven't been... I haven't been this... I haven't been Highway 20 from Albany to Bend in a long time. I usually take 56. That's the southern route I was telling you about. Yeah, look at the, we got the river next to us. Beautiful Oregon woods. Coming up through the Cascade Mountains. Like I said, you definitely you definitely recognize where you're at. Uh, if you're uh, actually used to the area already, you'll, you'll recognize it. Even if the highways and stuff aren't a hundred percent accurate, and towns aren't a hundred percent accurate, you'll still recognize them. Driving through other parts of Eugene and stuff, I know where I'm at. Even if uh, the buildings aren't exactly the same. Now, if you look at the navigation, you'll see that little saw blade up there and a little off-road. That's another place to pick up jobs or drop them off. We clearly haven't, and we're on an uphill grade. You can see our speed dropping. If you look at the top left corner of the navigation, that shows you where our current speed is. We're going to back it off here a bit. This guy is kind of having some issues getting up the grade. He's actually taking it pretty well. And now we're at the other side of the ridge. So now we're heading uh, downhill into eastern Oregon. Speed her up a little bit. Guy chilling with his motorcycle on the side of the road. You'll see some neat little kind of off the beaten path stuff. If you want, you can go visit places like Crater Lake or uh, the Grand Canyon. There, is, some of those features are in the game. And are realistic. So right now you'll see our speed is at you know just above 55. Yeah, it usually doesn't let you go more than three mile an hour over. That keeps you at a ticket distance. There's a nice herd of... Uh, actually, those are decorations. Those are actually like cut out... <coughs> uh, cast iron or steel decorations that somebody put in their field. It's actually there, too. It's one of those landmarks that's actually out there. If you uh, drive this route, you'll see it. Yeah, like I said, a lot of these places are very recognizable. as you may have been there before. Yeah, I was breaking all the sharp, so I didn't want to give him his distance. Now yeah, we're coming up on a red light anyway. As we pull into the Greater Bend area. And yeah, you actually want to sit on your brakes because you might roll if you don't. And wrecks not only cost you money in repairs, but they cost you money in tickets. So I don't recommend them. <laughs> We 
we're actually coming up on our uh, drop location pretty quickly. Yeah, normally I'm just jamming out to KNAC while doing this and having a good old time. Now I really like the long hauls too. Going the distance is a lot of fun. Yeah, picking up up in Bellevue, Washington, dropping off all the way down in New Mexico. And yeah, you gotta wash your gas gauge. I mean, I'm a high enough level right now that I've got great fuel economy. That was one of the first things I bought up in terms of skills was uh, uh, fuel efficiency. That allows you to A, you don't have to stop as often for gas. Um, which is nice. It saves you a lot of time and saves you a lot of money. I don't think there was a B to that. There's an A. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to stop as often, which means that, you know, you can just keep driving. You don't have to, you know, mess around with trying to find a place to fuel up gas all the time. And you save money because um, you don't have to gas up as often. And when you're paying sometimes, you know, four or five hundred bucks for a tank of gas because you got this big old fuel tank, um... It's kind of nice. I usually will try and find a place for, you know, right around quarter tank anyway. I'll keep, I'll start keeping my ass peeled for a place to fuel up. Other than that, I don't really, uh, don't really do it. All right, now this is going to be a little bit interesting turn because we're going to have to go into the turn lane. To make this corner and that's why I'm talking about people you know giving you enough room is they never do now if we want we can look and see if there's any traffic coming and there's not so we're gonna go all right now we can turn it tighter kind of try and stay out of that turn lane there we go we made that one that was a good turn now this one we are going to have to swing wide out because it's a lot smaller area to pull into. So we're going to have to come into oncoming traffic and they're going to get mad. Wait for this gate. Come on gate. There we go. Alright, we'll pull right out in here. All right, and uh, yeah, this gives you some options uh, as to how you want to how you want to do it. Uh, sorry, I'm in a hurry now. I don't want to <coughs> means uh, yeah, I don't want the extra experience. Uh, you go ahead and park it yourself. Um, and there are some loads where it's just like yeah, I'm not going to be able to park that. So the massive, uh, you know low boy loads and stuff. It's like, yeah, I'm not I'm not even going to try. That's stupid. Uh, some of the lots are also just really, really tight and janky and hard to maneuver, so I usually, you know, those ones all go, yeah, it's not worth it. Um, I mean, it drops the immersion a little bit, but it's not too bad. This one, if you're really hardcore, where do you need it? You know, you pull it in, you park it, I kind of suck at backing up these big trailers. I can do smaller, you know, up, you know, like camping trailers pretty good. But these long ones are just, yeah, they're they're finicky. So I usually go with the middle option. Let's play it safe. <laughs> Still allows us to park the truck, get a little bit of XP, but uh, yeah, we don't have to do much backing up. So we'll go ahead and do that. Alright. Again, this is where the external view does come into play. Because we can get right up to that fence line. I 
Having a cow guard on the front also kind of <laughs> helps. Prevents a lot of front end damage. If you do get a wreck, we'll pull it up right nice to that. And then now we can. Now that the trailer's in line, we can. You always watch your tires, because that's where you're. Because your pivot point on the trailer is the rear ti is those rear tires. So you're kind of driving around those. Trying to get them where you want them. Alright. Lock brakes. Unhook the trailer. And job's done. And yep, here's our experience and stuff. No, that's a pretty short trip, so we didn't get a lot of get a lot of XP on that. Uh, we consumed 21 gallons on it. I've done 120 of these contracts, and the World of Trucks contracts are the uh, online ones. So those actually count towards your profile and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that is that. All right. So I'm going to get out of here real quick. So yeah, um, that's you know American Truck Simulator. I really like it. If you like simulators, uh, management games, or uh, just casual games, you know, to kill time, uh, it's a great game to do that. Um, I've spent uh, countless hours running, running truck uh, in this game. I love it. Um, gives me a lot more respect for my uh, couple buddies that are truckers. Uh, it's just a nice casual game. It can get kind of hairy at moments, but uh, you know that's what you're only for getting a little too overconfident and uh, not paying attention. So you still gotta kind of pay attention, but it's, it's it's a fun game to just kind of sit back, cruise, and there's a ton of achievements. Oh my God, there's a ton of achievements. Um, the easiest one to get is visit every city on the map. Um, you get that on a state by state basis. So once you visited all the cities in one state, you get uh, you get that achievement. Um, unlocking all the garages, unlocking all the uh, employment uh, places. Um, Unlocking all the shops so you can buy new trucks from them. Uh, yeah, there, there's just so much in this game to do. It's it's one of those that's just huge and fun and kind of just relaxing. And, uh, yeah, get your rig and start making some money. Uh, and another shout-out to uh, knac.com. Go check them out. Uh, if you like listening to music uh, while you're out on a jog or stuff and you like rock music, I uh, got a great selection from you know classic rock all the way up to good modern stuff. Um, I'll usually be jamming out to it, playing this game, or uh, sometimes even just driving my car around. Um, but yeah, tune in radio, great app, uh, and it's the vehicle for knac.com. But if you go to knac.com, you'll uh, you can get the link for that, or you can just listen to it on the website. Um, they're originally a real radio station from Santa Cruz, I think, that uh, kind of got killed off by internet, so they decided to make the job uh, make the leap early, and uh, now they're just an online uh, radio show. But it's nice; they got uh, actual radio breaks and stuff. Uh, no ads, though, but they do do the uh, channel promotion, which is kind of nice. Uh, kind of throw back to my old days, listening to radio. But yeah, anyway, enough uh, blah blah blahing. Uh, I hope you, I really hope you guys check it out. The game's a reasonable price for what you're getting. Um, the DLC is also a reasonable price for what you're getting. They range from like a buck to like five bucks. Uh, I think maybe the map packs can go up to like 10, 15 bucks. Uh, but you get a huge amount of content for that 15 bucks. Like, you literally get an entire state of content. Uh, an entire state's worth of content. So, uh, they can totally be worth it. Um, 
some of the states are now bundled like Oregon and Washington so you can get them at a at an even re more reasonable price uh, and I just I highly recommend if you're going to get into it, it you know well get the game first if you if you like the you know if you're interested in the game get the game first get a feel for it if you really like it the next first thing to do if you if you're enjoying the game go buy those DLC packs for the extra maps uh, totally worth it I've bought also all the almost all the cosmetic packs uh, I think there's one I haven't picked up and those ones are usually like a buck or two they're, they're pretty cheap um, for some customization stuff so that's nice the stuff that doesn't really matter in the game they've kept to a real low price and the DLCs that do matter still at a pretty reasonable price uh, especially for the content you're getting but yeah you get a huge huge world for an always expanding world for for a pretty good price um, and you can build it up slowly too you don't have to buy all of them all at once you can kind of buy a state here and there but yeah I'd highly recommend doing that because I love just having this this huge world to explore and drive and make money on so yeah enough of me yapping and I'll let you guys get back to what you're doing and uh, I think I might take a few more jobs <laughs> all right until next time uh, I'll see you later